Right, so I guess the time's come that I've got to answer the questions from my failed giveaway and announce the winners. And I guess give everyone slightly longer to enter on Instagram and Discord because I forgot to actually open up there. But that might give you an opportunity, another opportunity, ask more questions or whatever. Okay, so... Eclipse Games, what was your greatest accomplishment in your cubing career? And yes, that does obey the rules. Um, yeah, I guess coming second at 2019 UK Championships in 7x7. And to be fair, having a realistic shot at winning it if I didn't get so um, caught up in the pressure of that and absolutely shaking on my final solve when I realised that LEJ had also got another bad time. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> but, yeah. <sighs> okay, um, Joe's Kehigashikata 4505. What is your favourite GAN 3x3 speed cube? Um. Um. No, really. Um, Cam 14 Pro is quite nice, to be fair. Like, my initial unboxing when I actually release it probably won't be as favourable, but after a few solves, it's actually not that bad. Of course, it never pops, and like, they have achieved what they tried to do, but whether it's better than the Gan 12, it's questionable. And the Gan 14, questionable. But yeah, there's lots of other brands, you know, it's not just about Gan. They produce decent cubes, but other companies produce better cubes at lower prices. Um, what is your favourite puzzle in the WCA? Yeah, I mean it's still the bigger the better. 7x7 seven seven is still the best event, even if I don't practice it much and focus on 3x3 three three so much more right now. Matthew Gr Gittins2641 asks, what are personally your thoughts on Chi making a jeweler a dustment maglev and core magnetized IV cube before at F2O or improving on their current cubes. Well, I think we kind of know what GE are doing now because they've gone rather quiet on their um, ball core IV cube because clearly it's probably not worth doing. Funny how magnetic IV cube sales have been rather, rather lacking. Sold hardly any of them since they released it. Suggests to me Chi realised that they made a bit of a mistake there, and um, hopefully they'll get into uh, GM Pro 5x5 and Pyraminx and some other good cubes that people actually want. X Cubing asks, which non WCA events would you add to the WCA? I mean, I really don't know what what's actually necessary, what people actually practice, because so much of the time people say, oh, we should have team blind, and can't even think of a actual way of doing it. Like, it's already been ruined by Tommy Cherry doing it, like, with blind memo. How do you regulate it? What are the rules? And some other proposed events, you just have all sorts of complications and a lot of them well actually it's not that many people who actually practice them and the hardware's not very good so I don't think there's currently anything that's close enough that enough people practice regularly to justify it becoming a WCA event right now Scottish Cuba asks do you like the look of black or primary plastic more? Ultimately, I don't care. <laughs> Probably primary, but I, I don't care. Um, so it's like a lot of the time I just, pre when both are offered, I just predict which one will sell better and unbox the other one. Just probably the best way of doing it. <clears throat> Cubic. El Mayo asks, which has been the best competition you've ever gone to? Yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's got to be the major ones. Major ones outside the UK. I really enjoyed Norwegian Championships, Euros. Worlds, not quite as much. Just 
didn't really like Korea. <laughs> Sorry to anyone from there, but it's just. Yeah. Um, Lincolnshire, Lincolnshire winter 2023 was pretty nice as well. Um, yeah, and that's where I. Got a 5x5 world record single, but it was a miss scramble and not filmed. <sighs> yeah, maybe that's something to ask me more about in the future Q&A. <laughs> well, Sam Rowell asks, if you were a biscuit, what would you be and why? To which Dan Norton, Daniel Norton 4904 responds, someone didn't watch the whole video. And yes! Because you failed to obey my rules. So your question will go unanswered. Okay, so, um, giveaway winner number one. If this thing will work. Obviously, it wouldn't surprise me at all if it's a nuisance. Right. 2 plus 1 is 3. And the comments, 43. Yep. You can pick a winner. And yes, which camera are you really using? So, congratulations, Simply Cubing 1842. Please email me at daniel at speedcubing.org to claim your prize I'll ask you to prove it's you but yeah congratulations user uc9uq3df5g do you really think sub 4 average is possible this year and if it's possible who do you think no I don't think sub 4 average will happen this year it's theoretically possible, there's nothing stopping it, people have got sub-4 singles, but I don't think it's likely to happen this year, but I think it will happen in the next few years. And it will probably be either Yi Heng Wang, or somebody who's not very well known yet, probably quite young. We'll have to see. I mean, ultimately, the future of speed cubing, I've said this before, the future of speed cubing is F2L planned an inspection into one glass layer. And once that can be done consistently by somebody with fast turning speed, like, yeah, sub 4 is going to happen. But it's not easy. Like, I, I say, oh, this is what's going to happen, as if it's something that could easily be done, but no, it's very difficult. But somebody's going to do it. User.27348DJF asks, do you really like speedkeeping competitions? Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> you should go to one if you haven't. I mean, obviously it is different now because I run a stall at cubing competitions when I'm there. It's just not the same feeling as it used to be, but cubing competitions are still fun and I still go to them. The Cubanet Official 2024. Cool, okay, well that's not a question. Um, unlucky1776, what's your greatest memory of cubing? You clearly haven't watched the whole video. Random Piano Songs LP4KX, can you tell us tips on improving on 6x6 and 7x7? Yes. What you need to do is you need to practice a lot and think about efficiency to an extent but also just turning, look ahead so that you can just see everything that's coming. When you insert one edge you can see the other edge pieces that you can just insert straight away and you just have to properly concentrate on that. That's, that's it with big cubes really. There's not that much more to it. I mean you can you can learn like last two edge algorithms and stuff like that, but biggest difference is just practice look ahead. Chewbacca Cuba asked which Cuba would 